Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting Angron the Demon Primarch of the World Eaters from start to finish. But first I want to say a huge thank you to the Army Painter who sent me out all the products that you see in this video for the tutorial. As you can see, Angron looks really good but I have to stress and emphasise that this paint job is super simple to actually achieve. I'm very confident that anyone that watches this video can replicate the results of this tutorial and get exactly the same results. I tried to make it as simple and easy to follow as possible using really simple techniques. So I really hope you enjoy this video guys. Um, as always it's going to be a long video so get, get, go get comfortable, grab yourselves a nice hot drink or maybe my personal favourite an ice cold beer and we'll get started with the tutorial. It's important to note that I've primed the miniature in black. That's gonna help us achieve a pre-highlighting area all over the miniature using grays up to white. We're also going to be using the Army Painters Masterclass dry brushes as these are absolutely fantastic to dry brush throughout the miniature. As you can see here, I've removed most of the paint onto uh, either the back of my hand or on a CD. I don't use tissue paper or um, paper towel. The reason for this is it actually really dries the paint out on the bristles of the brush and it can leave like a chalky texture behind. Uh, so use the back of your hand or uh, a bit of spare, an old CD or Tupperware or something like that where you can remove most of the paint. And as you can see here, I'm just lightly brushing over backwards and forwards, sometimes in circular motions, just to get that really nice crisp highlight on the top surfaces and details of all of the model. And here you can see what the very first round of dry brushing with the uniform grey looks like. Now we're going to be using a lighter grey and in this instance we're going to be using the Army Painters Ash Grey and we're going to go with a smaller of the dry brushes in the Masterclass series so this is the medium dry brush and again we're going over all of the miniature paying more attention to the real raised areas of the miniature and we want the highlight to pop out more on those areas.
and here you can see what the miniature looks like after we've applied the ash grey as a dry brush. Now we're going to use the Army Painters matte white as a final highlight throughout the miniature. We're also going to be using the small dry brush in the Masterclass series of brushes and we're going to concentrate again more so on the areas that we really want to pop out like the face and any of the really sharp details that we want to look even more crisp and defined. And here you can see what the miniature looks like with all the dry brushing finished. There's no more dry brushing to be done now. It's just a case of starting to lay down those awesome speed paints from the Megaset 2.0. Now we're going to be concentrating on Angron's skin and we're going to be using Poppy Red and a Regiment brush from the Army Painter to do, the, to do this. It's really important to note that these techniques don't employ very expensive, uh, I don't know, Winsor & Newton Series 7 brushes to get uh, blending and that sort of thing. This is very, very simple to follow this tutorial as mentioned at the start of the video. Uh, I just used the regiment brush throughout the whole video and uh, as you can see I can still get great results with the regiment brush. So as you can see I'm going over Angron with a poppy red colour but I'm being very careful that I don't let the paint pull too much in any area. It's also important to note that I'm actually painting thinly and evenly. If you let the paint uh, pull up and stain too thick and heavily, you're going to lose all that beautiful dry brushing that we've already produced earlier on in the video. Thank you. 
And here you can see what Angron looks like once all of the flesh areas have been painted with that poppy red colour. Now we're going to be using Speed Paint's Hop Like Gold, which is actually a metallic paint. We're going to be concentrating on all the armor plating on Angron, and I absolutely love these paints. They do exactly what they say on the bottle. They're produced for speed. The paint's really thin, really smooth, and uh, as you can see, it covers lovely on this miniature. And here you can see what Angron looks like with all the hoplite gold applied to all of those armor panels. Now it's time to actually shade all of the armor. We're going to be using the Army Painter's Flesh Wash for this. Um, although it says Flesh Wash and it's very, very good for uh, washing flesh, it also works absolutely fantastic for gold metallics. And as you can see, I'm just placing the Flesh Wash throughout all of the gold areas of Angron. And this is gonna leave some really nice deep shading and give like an ancient armor to the look of the gold. And here you can see what Angron looks like after all of the flesh wash has been applied to the gold areas of his armor plates. Now we're going to be using another metallic from the Speed Paint 2.0 range, Broadsword Silver. We're going to be painting all of the areas, like the sword, um, chains, and any area that needs to be painted silver will be painted with a Broadsword Silver colour.
now we're going to be using a combination of speed paint medium and Tyrian Navy. I dilute the Tyrian Navy down three parts speed paint to one part Tyrian Navy. The reason I dilute it with the speed paint is I don't want to cover all of the metallic area with a wash and um, spoil the look of the metallics but I do want to leave some staining behind on the metallics just to make the silver metallics pop a little bit more Dusk Red is going to be painted onto the base of the miniature. We're going to do this all over and this is going to leave a nice ready muddy tone to the base. All of the schools on Angron and on the base was painted over using bony matter. Here you can see the end result of Angron. I had great fun painting Angron and that goes back to the products that I used. Using speed paints is a very, very quick and efficient way to get absolutely fantastic results on your miniatures. The only thing I forgot to film during this video was the highlights of the gold which used the army painters shining silver as a dry brush over the gold everything else was captured in the video again I'd like to say a huge thank you to the army painter for providing me the awesome products for this video I also want to say a huge thank you to my supporters and fans who have bared with me while I got this video filmed I did say I was going to film a tutorial about a month ago, but we got there in the end. Uh, so yes, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, leave a comment. I really, really love reading all your comments, guys, and seeing what you think of my uh, tutorials. And uh, if you follow along with it as well, go over to my Facebook page and share a picture of what you um, did on your anger run. But Anyway guys, um, been a long video so I'm going to cut it here. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch the video and I'll catch you in the next one.